Right now in the city, we have a shortage of shelter beds. Majority of the shelters um, on a consistent basis are pretty full. And because of this, uh, a few days ago, I got a phone call from a young man that I've been helping and and um, he's been trying to basically get good sleep for the past couple weeks and that means just stumbling around from um, temporary shelter to temporary shelter it's called out of the cold because the regular shelters don't have beds available for him and finally he was pressed on a corner when he tried to go to a place where he thought he could get some rest on Sunday night and, and they refused him service and he called me in, in panic because um, it was near the end of the night and he didn't want to have to sleep outside again because that's the reality for him. And so I did. I, you know, I attended to his needs and praise God, uh, a bed in a detox had opened up because he's actually trying to work on his addictions and and we were able to find resolution then and you know I when I was driving home I had some sobering thoughts come to my mind I know the person who called me was able to get help because they knew I was around they had someone to call but then I also know that there are hundreds of other people by varying degrees of of difficulty were in the same spot, didn't have anywhere to go. But that night, he had someone to call. And I praise God, because it's not about just him being blessed. It's me also realizing that I'm blessed to be invited to be part of God's plan and God reminding him that there is someone there for him. But then I pray for the others who didn't have anyone. I don't know why. I know that I can't save everybody. Even in the scriptures, Paul said, I've become all things to all men, so that by all means, he might save some. And I fully recognize what I do is just going to save some. But I pray for the others. I'm sure God has them in in his mind and heart. And that's the reality of the city right now. So just praying for people who have to sleep outside because there's nowhere to go. There seems to be a lot of them right now.